Thank you, and good morning. I'm excited to be here to talk about BI. I think what's happening here is, is pretty exciting. You know, we're all in the technology industry, and we're used to the constant march of progress. But every once in a while, something really exciting happens. And it's when factors come together, when the need of the market meets a great technological innovation, meets an environment that's ready to accept them all. Let's look at some examples. Let's take cell phones. We all remember the flip phone and its steady progress every year, getting smaller, tinier, sleeker. And then in 2007, something really exciting happened when Apple introduced the iPhone. Plenty of great technology, materials, batteries, the software that brought it all together, most of all, but also into an environment where, for the first time, carriers were willing to cede control to a vendor like Apple, where networks had gotten fast enough and ubiquitous enough and reliable enough that the internet could really be accessed from a phone. And you get something exciting like the iPhone. Another example, file sharing. We all remember handing around USB drives, having to attach things to emails to share them, even with ourselves, and how painful that was. But these days, after some technological innovation from the likes of Dropbox and Box and Google Drive, along with environmental changes that made networks accessible, ubiquitous, and so on, we now share files online, and a much uh, better way to do it it is. Photos is a great another one, where film cameras advanced incrementally for a long time, and then the digital camera came along, but it was not that technological innovation that really made things explode. We've had digital cameras for quite some time. It was only when they got small enough to be included in every single smartphone out there, and we combined with networking technology that was available enough, ubiquitous enough, and high speed enough, uh, cheap storage, along with social sites, chiefly Facebook, where people, there was a great need, people wanted to share photos, and we have the great explosion in online photography that we've seen today. One final one before we talk about BI, which is autos. So, a lot of progress in automobiles for a long time, but we stand on the brink of something pretty extraordinary where we're talking about self-driving cars driven by technological improvements. But self-driving cars aren't going to happen without big changes in the environment as well, without regulatory changes, without people being ready to accept them. So pretty soon we'll be looking back on regular cars and feeling like I'm not driving my car like an animal like I was just a few years ago, but it's going to take some time. So these factors are converging in analytics as well. Let's look at them. The first thing that's happening in the environment is data is exploding. A 4,300% increase in annual data generated by 2020, a corresponding explosion in the number of information workers, and very importantly, folks who are not technical are coming in. Security threats are going through the roof, and security used to be a reason to keep your data close, but now it's starting to become a reason to actually put it in a cloud where it can be uh, secured according to best practices. These environment changes are creating a huge need in the market. The need for speed in businesses has never been greater. The need for ease of use as all of these business users enter the BI realm and want to serve themselves so that they don't have uh, to call up their favorite IT person to get something done. Technology is the most exciting to me where we're moving from a world that's based on relational databases that are on-premise with a lot of human expertise involved in data modeling to one that's based on Spark and the whole Hadoop ecosystem that lives in the cloud and that replaces people with machine intelligence. And what do you get when you do this? Well, you go from an IT-driven system where IT is the bottleneck to one that's business-driven where business users can serve themselves. You go from being able to answer simple questions about small data that requires complex preparation and takes a long time to an environment where you can ask very complicated questions about huge data without a lot of prep, and you can do it quickly. And you can do things like we did this for one of our customers um, in partnership with them where we combine data sources from telemetry, from patients with uh, patient database information to be able to stop sepsis, which is one of the top killers in hospitals these days. So I invite you all to come by our booth, number 429, to learn more about it and also uh, see the keynote later this afternoon, the session about more use cases from ClearStory. Thank you.